right, over here at our second pantry, what we're going to do is uh, going to take a look at these two guys that I told you we would look at, the uh, Thrive Tomato and uh, the Peppers. And what I'm going to do today is get into my rice, and we're just going to make some pepper tomato rice. About two cups. I like to preheat my pan a little bit, so we're going to get the pot warm. Like I said, we're going to make some rice, so I have the uh, the green peppers and the tomatoes. You guys can see on there, basically how these cans work is that's a little window into what these are. So the tomato dices are going to look like that, and the chili peppers are going to look like that. I've taken the liberty to already open these, and voila. So here's the diced green peppers, here's the tomato pieces, or dices I think they call them. And um, I have already tried these, but we're going to put these in some rice. So what I like to do, I like to start with a little olive oil. And it's nice and hot, and I'm going to toast the rice. It's no different than a video I did years ago. And uh, rice is pretty easy, so just do the one. i only got one hand here, so I'm going to get a spatula and kind of spin this around. Make sure all the rice is kind of evenly coated and just toast it off a little bit. Now we're just going to sprinkle in some peppers. And sprinkle in some tomatoes. And these tomatoes, it's funny because I had some friends try them the other day. Um, they're like, they are so tomato-y. But it's because you've taken all the water out of them. Um, we're just going to add a little bit of salt to them. Uh, the salt just basically is for flavor. Some people think that salt will make it boil quicker, and that is not true. Uh, salt merely raises the temperature of the water um, while it's boiling. Uh, if that makes any sense. It's a very common misconception that uh, salt will make it boil quicker. Uh, it does not. So, nothing special. Let me put this in here. If you start with hot water, uh, it will come to a boil quicker. But, that's only two cups. So I'm going to get two more cups. And we're going to bring this to a boil. Alright, once our bright and Christmassy little mixture here comes to a boil, um, I'm just going to put this on low. We're going to cover it. And we are going to set a 15 minute timer. And we'll be back. Alright, our 15 minutes is counting down. Um, not going to remove the lid, we're going to leave that on. We're actually going to put a 5 minute timer on there and completely turn the heat off. We're just going to let that rest for 5 minutes. So the rice takes 20 minutes total. And voila, 20 minutes later, healthy and delicious, super cheap, economical rice meal. I'm going to have a little bit of chili I made uh, earlier in the week on a tortilla with some sour cream. Uh, of course, if I didn't have, you know, sour cream or tortillas, I can make tortillas with some masa, and Thrive also has sour cream. There's many ways to do this. This is kind of an example of how I use Thrive. Hope that answers some of the questions I got. Thank you all for watching. Well, there you go. Super easy way to add all, you know, the Thrive stuff into your daily lives. This is not the apocalypse. I'm using this every day. Um, we are going into winter. Your access to fresh vegetables has been diminished. Uh, your gardens are asleep and waiting for springtime. Hopefully you have some sort of composting going. Now, you know, I'm not saying don't buy canned stuff because I still do. I'm not saying don't you know preserve your garden stuff uh, because we do this is again just a way to diversify all of my food storage items um, you know this is 25 to 30 year shelf life if I don't open this if I open this I still have a year to use this and that's why I like these little pantry cans especially for items that I may not use all the time uh, like the peppers you know I like all this stuff like I said with the uh, the extra tomato -y flavor if that's even a word um, you know, these are very similar to a sun-dried tomato, if you guys are familiar with how, what those taste like. It's a very concentrated tomato flavor. Uh, it's very bright, and um, I think you could substitute these for many of your uh, recipes or chutneys or anything like that that you're adding. And, uh, you know, this is just kind of how I use my Thrive. You know, it doesn't always just sit in the garage and uh, waiting for the doomsday. Thanks for watching, guys.